I'm on my way to Shul now, and I had no intention of giving a second Dvar Torah. But right after I spoke to you earlier in our Dvar Torah about not focusing on the small things, but focusing on the bigger picture, we heard the terrible news from Israel about the terrorist attack in a temple on Friday night in the Shul, in the Vey Yaakov in Jerusalem, where a henuous, murderous, despicable terrorist who lives in East Jerusalem went in and killed seven people while also injuring others, too critically injured. And I thought about this today on Holocaust Memorial Day, just after Gilad Erdan, the UN ambassador, spoke at the UN and spoke about how the UN, which was built on the ashes of the Holocaust to protect those who are attacked and gunned down and bigotry is becoming the greatest double standard to Israel. And you might wonder, what should we do? And the answer, of course, is that Israel needs to have a strong hand. God tells Moses in this week's Torah portion, Bo el Paro, don't be scared of Pharaoh. Come, I will go with you. When a Jew believes that God goes with him, and when Israel understands and believes that they have to fight terror without any limitations, and they can't listen to not the UN and not the US and not people in their own government. But the only way to fight terror is to condemn it unequivocally and to fight it and to chase and hunt down every terrorist. And as God promises Moses, God promises that at the end of the day we will be victorious. But if we're not able to be strong and proud, instead of hiding in Judaism, wear a kippah, instead of staying home, go to shul. It's light and candle time now at 434 in Boston. Light Shabbos candles this Shabbos. Close your eyes and bring in more light to the world and make commitment to be a stronger Jew, a prouder Jew, to support Israel unequivocally, to support the Jewish people, not to be scared by those who might tell you otherwise, those who might bully you, those who have a double standard or hate the Jewish people, the Jewish state. And remember, that being anti-Israel is being anti-Semitic. They might use other words and other cloaks, but ultimately that's what leads to terrorist attacks, the people that constantly attack Israel and the Jewish people. Am Yisrael Chai, we're going into Shabbos, the Shabbos when the Jews leave Egypt, when God tells, when Pharaoh has to send out Moses in the middle of the day, God says you can't leave at night, but in the middle of the day. We have to be proud, we have to have conviction, we have to fight back with a strong fist, and we have to be able to say, that never again on Holocaust Memorial Day means never again. Today Auschwitz is liberated, and today in a shoal in Jerusalem, seven people were gunned down and killed because they were praying to the Almighty. We have to stop this, and we have to be strong. Shabbat Shalom, may God comfort all those who are in pain and need of love and encouragement at the hardest times of their life. And may we all be stronger and stand together. And may Shabbos usher in light and beauty and redemption for all of us. Shabbat Shalom.